ang ating devotion for today ay um, Chariots in the Sun. <clears throat> I'm sharing to you my share screen. Kung yung iba po na nakahiga ay pwede nyo itong buksan. Acts 8.26 hanggang 31 po yung ating ano, uh, text ngayon. From the ESV, Philip and the Utopian. Now an angel of the Lord said to Philip, Rise and go towards the south to the road that goes down from Jerusalem to Gaza. This is a desert place. And he rose and went. Thank you God for today. Thank you for your word. Palay niyo po, Panginoon, at basbasa ng inyong salita sa aming mga puso. Thank you for waking us up. Thank you for your anointing, for your servant. Open our hearts, even our minds, so that we can understand and be able to apply it in our lives, in our hearts. In Jesus' name. <clears throat> Ang ating pong background ay nasa Acts 757. They cried out with a loud voice and stopped their ears and rushed together at him. Ito yung nangyari kay Stephen. Stephen, when he was murdered, they cast, uh, cast him out of the city and stoned him to death. In Acts 8, 1, and there arose on that day a great persecution against the church in Jerusalem. And they were all scattered throughout the regions in Judea, except the apostles. Philip went down to the city of Samaria and proclaimed to them the, the Christ. And the crowds, with one accord, paid attention to what was being said by Philip. When they heard him and saw the signs that he did, for unclean spirits came out of many who had them, and many who were paralyzed and lame were healed. So there was much joy in the city. Ito yung verse natin. An angel of the Lord said to Philip, Rise and go to the south, to the road that goes down from Jerusalem to Gaza. This is a desert place. And he rose and went. And there was an Ethiopian, a eunuch, a court official of Candice, queen of the Ethiopians, who was in charge of all her treasure. He had come to Jerusalem to worship and was returning seated in his chariot and he was reading the prophet Isaiah and the spirit said to Philip go over and join this chariot so Philip ran to him and heard him reading Isaiah the prophet and asked do you understand what you are reading and he said how can I unless someone guides me and he invited Philip to come up and sit with him and the eunuch said to Philip, about whom I ask, does the prophet say this about himself or about someone else? Then Philip opened his mouth and beginning with his scripture, with this scripture, he told him the good news about Jesus. And as they were going along the road, they came to some water. And the eunuch said, see, here is water. What prevents me from being baptized? And he commanded the chariot to stop. And they both went down into the water. Philip and the eunuch, and he baptized him. And when they had come up out of the water, the Spirit the Lord carried him, carried Philip away, and the eunuch saw him no more, and went on his way rejoicing. <clears throat> God uses Philip the evangelist in the city of Samaria. It's the place where the Samaritans live, where he proclaimed to them the Christ. The crowds paid attention to what was being said, by Philip, when they heard him and saw the signs that he did, for many who were possessed, paralyzed, or lame, or held healed, so there was much joy in that city. Matindi yung ministry ni Philip sa Samaria. Napaka-successful at matagumpay. Maganda. After Philip's ministry in Samaria, one would think that God would bring him to a larger city or province to start another mega work. But instead, he was told by an angel of the Lord 
to go to the desert road towards Gaza, an unpopulated, not a crowded area, actually unpopular. Mainet. Philip may have wished to go to a more exciting and convenient mission, but God gave him an unpopular one, and Philip immediately obeyed. He rose and went to the desert road. When Philip was there, God gave him a detailed instruction. The angel said, go over and join this chariot. Kahit siguro na sa kabataan pa si Philip, ay di niya kayang sabayan ng chariot na inihila ng at least dalawang kabay running at speed of at least 50 kph in the loose sand. Mahirap kayong tumakbo sa buhangin. But God's help, he was able to run in same speed and heard the eunuch and was able to facilitate the conversation. He was invited to sit with the chariot, opened his mouth and shared Christ to the Ethiopian eunuch. In the King James Version, we read that, that the Ethiopian said, I'll believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. But in other versions, hindi po kasali yun. Naniwala, nanampalataya po si, si Ethiopian eunuch. We observe in this encounter that God wants Christians to evangelize not only crowds or communities, but it is also His will and ardent desire to save everybody, even an individual. Maybe a Samaritan, maybe a small Zacchaeus, Matthew, a tax collector, maybe a blind like Bartimius, or a Gentile like Cornelius and the Ethiopian who are influential people. We make difference. We make a decision all the time. Pero ano kaya kung alamin natin sa Diyos ang plano niya sa atin at kung ano gusto niyang ipagawa sa atin. Panginoon, ano bang gusto niyang gawin ko sa araw na ito? Nang si Philip ay tumugon sa utos ng Diyos, tinulungan siya na parang sa paraang hindi niya inaasahan, ay pinapagawa ba ang Diyos sa iyo? Nagalangan ka ba dahil Uh, pakaliit ng gawain na ito ang gusto natin sa isang malaking compound. Sa isang salita lang nung head of the family ay lahat magikinig, mag-attend at lahat ay magiging kristyano. Mainit sa panampalatay. Si Philip ay isang napiling deacon o diakono ng Jerusalem Church kasama ni Esteban. Malala natin, pito yung pinili na deacons. Dahil hindi na maharap ng mga, el, mga elders yung pag-Bible uh, study. Yung, kaya yung pagpapakain sa kanilang komunidad ay binigay sa mga deacon. At isa si Philip dito. Ngunit pinigitan niya ang kanyang gawain magpakain ng pagkain pang physical. Siya ay naging evangelist. Nagbibigay ng pagkaing spiritual. Ikaw ba ngayon na isang ordinaryo membro lang o bagong membro lang at di napapansin? Kung may sinasabi ang Diyos sa iyo na dapat to pa rin upang ipakilala si Kristo sa iba, remember, obedience is better than sacrifice. God will guide you. The Lord Jesus sends you to go and make disciples and make Him known. Let's pray. Dear God, our Father, you are the God of miracles. Provide miracles of healing, provision, protection, and guidance. You are amazed how you work through Philip. We pray to be sensitive to the guidance of the Holy Spirit. Help us to go where you want us to go and do what you want us to do. You are not willing that anyone would perish. So send us to individuals, families, communities to share them your gospel. Give us the courage and obedience to do your will. In Jesus' name, God, have a nice day.